A no kill animal shelter in Southfield is putting out the call for help tonight. Folks who uh, run the almost home shelter say Southfield is considering big changes to its animal control policy, which puts, uh, puts their mission and their facility in danger of shutting down. Our Jamie Edmonds shows us what's at stake. There are nearly 40 animals inside the almost home animal haven here in Southfield, 20 extra in foster care, and the owner here doesn't know what will happen to those animals if she has to close up shop. For 13 years, Almost Home Animal Rescue League has been taking in animals like this one, vaccinating them, rehabilitating them, and readying them for adoption. <laughs> Gail Montgomery is the founder and has always enjoyed a great working relationship with the city of Southfield. But in March, the shelter got a letter. In March, we got a notice saying that they put our building up for bid out of the clear blue sky. We've been here for 13 years. So that was a real surprise for us. The shelter complied and presented in June, but since then they haven't heard a thing. The thing is, is that we're not a barber shop. We're not, we're not a restaurant. We're a service to the city of Southfield. We save them over $200,000 a year and save all their animals, and we're never kill. I mean, we're doing amazing work. The city told Local 4 two weeks ago they continually review all city vendors and contracts in an effort to maximize every tax dollar. The city is currently reviewing all proposals and no determination has been made. So for now, the employees and animals here are in limbo and Montgomery is afraid of what might happen. I have to have a place for my animals. If I don't have a place for my animals, they are going to be dead. They will, the city will take them away and they will be euthanized. And I'm very, very upset. While she waits, Montgomery is soliciting donations in case they have to pick up and leave. In Southfield, Jamie Edmonds, Local 4. You know, we called the city for comment today, did not yet hear back. If you'd like to help the shelter, we're going to put the contact information for you at clickondetroit.com.